Five years ago, a teenage Caleb Jack ventured on a project to find his creative voice. By producing 101 videos about things that I cared about and things that you should care about too. Love and passion and adventure. And what you're watching now is the finale of this project. One of the 10 final films. On the way home, Caleb passed by a bridge that seemed to shimmer in the light. He looked closer, noticing hundreds of tea bags flung under the underpass. He admired someone's repurposing of trash, but wondered why they wouldn't put this much effort into buying a new chair. Taking the bus, he caught a glimpse of graffiti, imploring him to eat the rich. Caleb was a vegetarian, but would be willing to compromise his values to take down the patriarchy so long as it wasn't prepared like most of the meat around here. Regardless, he preferred the graffiti he saw earlier in the weekend. He spent most of his commute daydreaming out the window. Caleb wondered what treasure must be buried somewhere on that mountain, but the view was soon blocked by a giant billboard of Russian propaganda. His Arabic wasn't great, so he had to walk a little while home from where he was dropped off. On the side of the road, he passed a plant called the Squirting Cucumber. An audience of children laughed as they witnessed the act. Shortly after, they continued in their efforts of stoning a wild chameleon. Caleb was happy to be home. Someone had arrived with bread, 45 loaves. It only cost them $2. He thought back to a man he saw exchanging 10,000 American dollars into local currency and tried to calculate how many loaves the man could buy. At the time, Caleb tried to ask why he'd exchanged such an amount when the economy was failing, but he just stared back blankly. They seemed about as clueless as he was. Going to Carvelias, the ruins today. They went out that evening to visit an archaeological site. He was happy not for the adventure, but for the time shared in between. Are you feeling like Indiana Jones? I'm feeling like Indiana Jones. And there's nothing better than feeling like yourself when you're in the presence of true friends. They ascended the hilltops and Caleb passionately toured the group. I know you're filming this. <laughs> Stepping into the unknown with the courage of a lion, Caleb Jack. <laughs> the map. Wait, this is actually quite interesting. The moss <laughs> cove. It's so The moss zoomed. And, uh, Truthfully, he couldn't remember anything from the Bible about the prophet Elijah, but wanted to come off like he did. As the sun slipped away, he climbed upon the structure to admire the view. Someone far off shot tracer bullets into the sky and they twinkled like the tea bags from earlier in the day. These strange, beautiful moments, free from witness or judgment, is where life is experienced. And like those same streaks painted across the sky for a moment, I finally had that confidence to fade my light into obscurity.